Hi everyone, Paul Turley for Azure Every Day. I'm a principal consultant with Pragmatic Works, and I'm going to talk to you briefly about the new Power BI Activity Log API. This is a simple REST API, and it's not that hard to use, and you can do some very interesting things with it. Now, an important part of managing your Power BI tenant is knowing what's going on, knowing what activities there are, what users are using, what reports, pages, dashboards, uh, how frequently are certain reports being used? Are there any errors? Are some reports taking a long time to refresh uh, and uh, to be able to access? And that's all done with activity logging. Now, previous to this new public preview of the, um, the REST API, the activity log REST API that was released in December of 2019, we had to rely on the Office 365 audit log. Now, um, first of all, you had to be an Office 365 admin uh, in order to have permission to use that. And it was kind of a general log that brought back a lot of verbose information about everything going on in your entire Office infrastructure. A lot of detailed information that may not be related to Power BI. So by contrast, the new Power BI activity log only brings back activities within your Power BI tenant, and you just need to be a Power BI admin in order to inspect the logs, in order to be able to execute it. So I did post uh, some simple examples on my personal blog uh, using PowerShell, and I'm going to do a whole series. We're going to expand this, create an entire solution, and in the future you can look for training from Pragmatic Works around Power BI administration, and particularly around how to use this activity log API. So it's fairly simple. Using uh, PowerShell, we can call the REST API and we can bring back all of the activities. Now, if there are a lot of activities for a particular day, and we do this one day at a time, then it will bring back a certain window of activities with a continuation token. And that token will tell us whether we should call it again. And we can do that recursively or iteratively until it brings back all of the activity information for a particular day. With that, we can figure out if we need to expand our capacity, if maybe we can scale down capacity to save cost, and um, then we can get a lot more detailed information. So uh, check out my blog post on this, check out the Power BI blog, and look for more posts and training opportunities coming up. Watch the links below for more, and thanks for joining Azure every day. Thank you.